I suppose it's like activating this state a little bit more, you know. And um, I just recently just heard this 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 definition of like what needs to happen for you to start on the path of um, playfulness, no, on the playful path. Let's say like this. And there were three things that really struck me that came out. And one of them was um, a loving heart. And the second one was a joyful mind. And the third one was a vibrant body. And when you've got these three, three things sorted out, or like um, you, you, you've got them under your radar, then you can enter into the, 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 the playful path. So this, for me, it's um, I'm always looking for these sort of... Uh, um, distinctions you know how to understand how playfulness is and um and it's not just i'm serious i'm playful you know there's a whole series of um you know like, like the first steps is really to be able to see around us that things there are things that are playful there are things that aren't doing things for any particular reason you know they're perhaps they're I mean, I mean, this is like a bit poetic, right? But there's trees blowing in the wind. You notice it uh, when you slow down and, and allow like this sort of game to take past. Or you notice more obvious things like kids playing, um, laughing as they're doing so. Animals, they also always like... And just interacting with this sort of... These sort of um, playful energies um, awakens um, this loving heart and this joyful mind. So that's like the first step. And then we can sort of like see who is trying to interact with us in a playful way. But this is all about relationships. So if, you know, children, they're, sometimes they're very direct and they say, um, would you like to play with me? You know, or, or our friends, you know, they say, but other times it's not so direct, you know, it's more um, it's hidden somehow. So we have to be, have a, really have our eyes open and our ears open to hear these moments and um and say yes to them and say yes to them because uh we get, i get caught up in my things totally right <laughs> and i'm like i'm not open to anything anymore and perhaps that's okay you know but like every now and again got to snap out of this thing and um so then after we see this uh we sort of see these invites then we're able to start inviting other people and when we start inviting other people into playfulness um, whether it's like, would you like to play frisbee with me to catch this ball? Let's dance together, you know, or 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 jumping in a bag in a museum. <laughs> you know, it's like there, there there's an invitation there, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and um, but we've got to do this step by step. If we start off inviting people before we've really understood, that, then oh, it might be okay, eh? But I think it's it's um, perhaps a big too big a leap um to take and then afterwards it's like how long can you permeate in a state um where i mean it gets what i've seen is it gets really deep this whole idea of playfulness you know it's really like where you see the whole of the world as being a creation that's being created um moment by moment around you and you're taking part in it or you can decide not to take part in it uh, you can see your role in it. Um, where really it start all starts to become more of a game where there's no drama to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's um, we accept it as an we see it as an illusion, you know, like Maya. Um, th this sort of idea. It's more this idea of a Leela, um, and that's like the top state. I mean, I'm not saying I'm in this top state, right? But I know that there's this top state. So that's what interests me. Mm -hmm. um, this like freedom 